Hello guys, hello YouTube. I would like to uh, let you know that I'm making a new video with more explanation and updates what is going on and what is going to happen after New Year. So if you got any questions about Chip Union or those bikes what we ride in, let me know in this video down in the comments. I will explain it in the next video. I'm looking for more material, I'm looking for more questions, I will dig the topic and I will ex uh, tell you some news what is going on. So just quick update. Next year I'm going to look for Dino. But there will be no, I saying there will be no results of the stock bike. So if the stock bike got the same amount of the power what is after remap, sorry, I failed. But if the website says, let's say 14 horsepower, and after remap it still got 14 horsepower, something is wrong with the values on the website. I understand that a lot of people asking me, do I have any charts? Do I have any proof? How much power I have? And it, does it was remap? So I'm saying, as it is, as it is true, that I do not have a proof from the dyno how much power it have or it lost. So stop asking me for that, because I don't have it. What you can do instead, get your bike to the Leicester, to the my place where I live. I'm going to go with the laptop to your bike. I'm going to remap it. I'm going to show it to you that I, I done it. And then you can have a ride, go around the block, come back, say, that's OK, I pay you. Thank you. Because there are morons on Facebook or whatever else. They're saying, ah, you're a scammer. And you, who you are then? Go and try to make a business. Go on YouTube. Go on Facebook. Try to sell something. Try to provide the service. And then come back to me and say, oh, it is very hard because there are so many you over there. I get it. There is loads of spams over there. So it is hard to say, oh, this one is okay. And that one is a scammer. So I, I get it. It is hard. So... In the answering the question about oh why my uh, my tuner who is in the town says there's no way to remap that that bike I'm not gonna answer this question because it is my secret how I doing it and if I'm gonna tell you how to do it or I'm gonna show it to YouTube everyone gonna do it as long they know how to do it so sorry I will not make any videos I will not say how I'm doing this I'm not gonna show in my tools I'm not gonna explain you how to do it sorry this is my secret on the other hand go to your tuner what is in the town or you know you can call someone and ask him how much gain you're gonna get from your one to five how much horsepower because all of you are asking this like question like oh my god and they're gonna say about one to maybe three horsepower I would say, yes, it is true. It might be true like that in your case, in my case, on my bike. But it is not about horsepower. It is not about how much torque it gets. It is how the bike behaves after a remap. Because for me, it was absolutely headache to drive this bike when it was cutting off. It was no power. It was no chance to keep 50 miles per hour. In UK, 1 to 5 should be banned because it is too slow. But in other hand, you guys are happy with this. I, I'm not politician. I'm not British and everything, so I can say that. But in, like in the United States, it is 200 or 250 right now, uh, 250 cc. So because for them the roads are completely different than in Europe or UK, so they drive quick. But like in Poland, while well, in Polish, we got 50, maybe even 40 miles per hour. It is max what you can what you can do in car or or bike around the city or something like that so also if you if you if you if you see like they ban in like in wales to 30 miles per hour yeah it is true because it is 50 kilometers per hour and it's all over the europe it is not something what welsh people came up like strange idea because because they mad or something i don't know you explain me that so the longer i make this video I more topics i want to put in this video but it's too much that there will be no point to make next video so this is what i got for now in basin on that let me know what you think i had one more th thing in my hand so for the finish for this video if you if you're still watching uh, I'm doing this uh, this old chip tuning to help people because I think these bikes are broken. If 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 you're saying it is not for you, it is not worth it, then don't do it. Just leave me alone and then carry on whatever you're doing. But from my point of view, if you if you got comparison to to bikes on uh, on like four stroke one two fives with carburetor, this this bike was was not going. It was something wrong and it was cutting off. That's horrible. It is broken. So. I'm so what I'm what I'm saying, what I'm trying to to give you, you know, to my customers, is that I'm trying to repair 
your bike. And also I got some videos when I explaining what happened. I, I had uh, some, some videos when my bike was cut in. People are asking me, oh, how did you sort it? I say, I changed the ECU. And that's why this happens. And then if you buy a new bike and this happens, sorry, this these bikes are like that. There is no point to buy it actually. I bought it. It is my project. I, I put it to sell anyway. But now I'm going to buy it because, because someone going to say, oh, I prefer to go and buy a new bike. Go on. You're going to change the chain. You're going to replace sprockets. You're going to replace the ECU, radiator, O2 sensor, and so on. Oh, and one more thing. Yeah, that's something I, what I forgot. So you're saying like 50 quid if I ram up your bike on my place. It is, you're saying it is not worth it to get one horsepower. But you're going to spend 240 pound to replace the exhaust. 30 pound or how much it is for these uh, giddy levels and clutch. How much it is for, I don't know what else you're going to change. Maybe tires because you're saying the stock ones are no good. Because they might be no good. That's it. Carry on. Take care. Thank you for watching.